always on the grind, steady chasing paper. Probably why I'm rocking super Vaders like a skater. Never been a hate. What up, YouTube? This your boy down low back with another requested reply. This one is to your boy Pro. Super Cali Federalistic laying on some dopage. And Pro is an Alabama rapper that is unique to himself. In which I can never underplay that. See, the benefit of you sounding like no one else is the fact that whenever your joints come on, people know it's you. A lot of other rappers out there who switches up the flow with whoever's the most popular now, they have to say the name and all the rhymes so people understand who they are. And truly, that clutters up the market too. Because all these guys out there who want to sound like 2 chains, 2 chains already making all of the 2 chains money. But Pro doesn't have that problem. My favorite songs off this mixtape is that vibe, that money in the air, and that change tempo, in which I didn't realize until after I got done listening to the project that he also produced all three of these tracks, which is excellent. This shows that you are not only good at production, but also you compliment yourself with it. So you can in fact cut some damn cops. But I am really glad that you go out and get a whole bunch of other producers too. See, rapping over other people's beats make you a more well-rounded of an artist. And also by doing this, you ensure that you only rap on the best beats that you create for yourself. But let's talk about that change tempo. Change Tempo was interesting because it was a sample track that you created and you sampled that Tupac, I ain't mad at you. In which the beat was decent, you could have done better to keep it 100. But you definitely need to look at it like this, I should not know what you sampled. Now at the stage of your career where you're at, you can get away with sampling whatever the fuck you want to sample. But as you rise and come up in the game, you will not be able to. But by then, it's going to be damn near too late for you to improve upon your skills because you will be so damn busy with so many other things you need to do. So right now, if you're really devoted to sampling material, you need to start working on chopping up your samples to the point that they are unrecognizable. As a rapper, the main thing that you need to work on is your flow. There are plenty times where you're rapping okay, in which you can do a lot better than okay. But also there's just times where you just fall off the beat. And it is really noticeable on that feeling it instrument. How you work on your flow, man, is first, memorize your lyrics all the way. Walk into that booth without the paper, you know that shit 100%. And then you play with it a little bit to try to figure out how you should say certain things. Also, the next thing you need to work on is getting less features for your next project. Because on this project, you got what? Five out of 14 tracks that's really just you. And that makes it pretty damn difficult for people to actually pick out who's who. Especially when most people who are actually generous will listen to your mixtape for all but two or three songs before they move on to the next mixtape. When you're going down the solo route, man, you have to stand on your own and do songs by yourself. It's good to have a feature here and there, but once you get so many like this, it more becomes a collaboration than your own. When you are being your own person, creating your own style, it's the nature of the beast to either hit or miss. There's really no in-between, which is why I only really like three songs off this mixtape. And there's some songs on there, man, that are pretty decent at points, like that Let's Get Down. That hook, awesome, but everything else about that track is pretty bad. What you definitely need to do, man, is work on that consistency. For the next project you record, do about 50 tracks. Then out of that 50, select the best 12, period. That's all the way solid. Hook, verses, bridges, intro, outro, everything about it. Hot. Only add those songs to the mixtape. All the other songs can be used as straight up promotion.